you wouldn't take uh, wouldn't take too much effort to guess who we're looking at here. Can be CK Lippenmeyer, who's found a comfortable spot balancing on the top of the lounge on Nana Lippenmeyer's quilt, and uh, under Nana Lippenmeyer's father's eternal gaze. So, how are you, little girl? You're a little bit sleepy. We just had a love, love a little while ago, didn't we? And you had a little mock disemboweling of Pop, Pop Lippenmeyer. And you didn't play too rough at all. Bit me a few times, but all lightly, and the back claws didn't come out, so that was just so nice. So I think, I think you are a charming little creature. Uh, an innocent killing machine outside. And uh, a delightful little companion inside. Aren't you, my sweet thing? You really are. Yes. And uh, every day we get to know you a little bit better. It's been an absolute pleasure. Or well, maybe not absolute. Whoops. But you're a relative pleasure, Cabby. Now don't take that personally, darling. I'm just being philosophic and particular. Splitting a few hairs there, darling. You're a relative, supremely wonderful pleasure. You're a supreme pleasure, Cadbury. And that's a pretty heavy statement too, actually. So <laughs> Maybe I'm being a little bit hyperbolic. I'm not sure. So, you've eaten, you've slept, you've digested, you've had some milk. So you've drunk, eaten, slept, dreamed about eating, drinking and sleeping. You've seen it rain. The rain came today. Little showers that uh, were the first real showers here in four months. So uh, you'd forgotten what rain was, hadn't you, my darling? You'd forgotten what rain was, my little one. Yes. Yes, you had. And I don't blame you, darling. I don't blame you forgetting, for forgetting that. It's okay. Now don't you go and fall off. Don't you go and fall off, my little sweet. You, you must, uh, you must take care of your little self. And you're going down to your little spot there that you like where Nana's, Nana lets you s sleep there by, and curl up there under sufferance because that's her, um, her uh, quilt getting soiled and <laughs> furry and a little crocheted blanket there. Yes, but that's okay. Now yeah, the little pitter patter of the pitter patter of little feet are away. Babysitting Andrea's children. Yes. So it gives us peace and quiet this Saturday night. Yes. Oh, look at these little back feet. Yeah, <laughs> little disemboweling the wildebeest. Yes, on the African savanna. Yes, and you don't know why you do it, do you, darling? It's just in there. It's a program in that little subconscious mind of yours. Yes, in your little cranium. Pea brain. Don't you dare listen to Nana. She just said pea brain. It's not very nice, Nana. No, it's not a pea brain. No, it isn't. Oh, little kickies. Oh, maybe I was thinking of yours instead. Yeah, you were thinking, ah! of, thinking of mine, Jane. Nana Lippenmire, rather. So what's that little tale telling us, darling? a little tale telling us, eh? I think it's telling us, leave me alone, grab something. No, no, yeah. she likes it. I think she's saying, keep going, but I might uh, disembowel you seriously. Yes. Yes, that's probably what it's telling me. Hey. Oh, I haven't had much time to play with you in the last week, have I, darling? Well, actually, the last three weeks, I haven't had too much time to play with you. Yes. Just took your... Your grand uncle, I took your grand uncle um, David to the airport with Pa and Alicia this morning at the crack of sparrows. Yes, they're away for a month in Thailand. And uh, I fed you before I left and I fed you when I got back, didn't I, darling? Yes, yes. You were there keeping the house vigil on looking after the house while the sleeping occupants, the pitter patters of little feet and Nana were inside sleeping and you kept looked after it down the front, you kept watch, yes. Yes you did. That's such a good thing you did, yes. Yes, so that's how one of your services you give for all the love and food and attention. 
we give you that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you were to focus in on that mouth, <laughs> it was getting close to hurting, actually. It didn't, yeah, because I'm a tough, rugged Aussie male, it didn't hurt too much, but <laughs> it, uh, it hurt a bit. She was put a bit of pressure on that. Tough Aussie male. And, You're a limp wristed pussy. Um, well, you know, that's not true, Nana. I, you know that's true from thousands upon thousands of experiences. We won't go into that too much, but you know, that's not true. Um, so, uh, so, little Cabri, I'll let you, I'll let you get that flea or whatever it is you're looking for. Have you given her that flea treatment yet? No, Grandma? I must get around to it. Very nice. Yes. Give it to, I'll do it tomorrow. No, we'll do it together. I will do it tomorrow. Together. I Ladies. will do it tomorrow, Grandpa. Ladies and Would you like to be have your see lights what I have to put up? Out? See what I have to put up with the stress and strain. I have to uh, endure for 32 years now, almost. It's been uh, a, almost almost a, well, a kind of a living hell. Oh, Thanks, well. boss. <laughs> uh, okay, Cabri. I love you, darling. See you later. Have you finished yet?